I am sorry, Tom Brady. I really am. To make up for my three years of hating you, here is a picture of you. I, like the rest of America, is recovering from the fact that the Patriots came back from a 28-3 deficit to win the game. Something about these big leads in sports finals these days, am I right? Anyway, I will now make this all relapse into a state of crippling depression. Also, sorry Matt Ryan, Falcon fans, and the majority of America, except for those lobster New Englanders. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Please don't hate me like you do. <laughs> Rob, 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 Roger, good, good, ditto. I struggle to say it. But hey, I got me a candy bar for predicting the Super Bowl winner correctly from the preseason. And also, I got the score. I even got the score right. I may as well become a Patriots fan. I'll join the fan club, right? <clears throat> a video on that later. Not a selfless plug in, by the way. Anyway, let's get to the game. They were The Falcons were crushing Tom Brady, much like the Seahawks were. Not like it was foreshadowing anything or. Yeah, 10 point lead. Sorry, Dan Quinn. Also, fun fact while looking for Dan Quinn, I found a picture of Tony Romo right next to him. It's almost like a coincidence. <clears throat> Illuminati. Anyway, after the couple of punts, the Patriots made their first big mistake. They fumbled the ball. Begin the white train. Oh, yeah, and the football gods helped New England again. I'll let you think about this. While you're at it, pause and subscribe because, you know, you're watching the Davy Blue channel. Oh, also, you might have forgotten, but he did throw a pick six. Just me that remembers that? Anyway, Matt Ryan came back firing, and uh, Taylor Gabriel took Malcolm Butler's ankles for Super Bowl 49 and that. The Patriots, the Falcons were steamrolling the Patriots until halftime, but, you know. They had to come back, didn't they? Sorry, Julio. We will all forget about your MVP performance. Anyway, because I'm tired of the Patriots winning and crushing the dreams of all of us, I'll just shut up. Much like this presidential election. Am I right? It's not like there wasn't any controversy. What was that? Mm. Ah, well, enough complaining. After all, he gets to go to California during the offseason. And I have to beg for forgiveness. He was ranked numero uno from Pro Football Focus. And to celebrate this massive achievement, here's a clip of some of his plays from this season. Because he has frig too friggin' many to freaking edit, so enjoy the choppiness. Oh yes, and also sorry Cleveland Browns, but for every good NFL satire video, you have to be in it. Also, before I forget, shout out to the New York Jets. You freaking cost me my fantasy season, you bums. I drafted Ryan Fitzpatrick and... Yeah, thanks. Hopefully this, this will ig help you ignore the choppiness of this highlight reel. But if you're watching this, you're probably a diehard New England fan and <laughs> it's probably being very excited watching this. So that's nice. Also, as a true millennial, baseball sucks. How they put it in. Yeah. Oh yeah. I have one last thing to say. No, it's not any more Patriot jokes. I uh, ran out of the budget to put a new image into this film. Oh yeah, so here it is. This week, here it is. I never wanted your forgiveness, Tom Brady. I never did. To celebrate my balls of glory, here was just three images of what cost you last year's season last year. Hashtag deflate balls. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this, as it means a lot. I truly mean it. Thank you. Please subscribe.